Hello guys, welcome back to my channel again. It's Cassandra here and today I have a very interesting video for you guys. So um, let me first all preface this by saying I actually filmed this video about this product um, a while back because I got this last summer, I believe. And I actually filmed a video of it and I thought I was being a little bit overcritical without actually fully using a product. So I decided to refilm the video and the product I am talking about is the, uh, let me try hiding my address, <laughs> the Flawless Hair Care um, line by Gabrielle Union. Uh, first of all, let me just say that Gabrielle Union is one of my favorite um, actresses. I just love her. Like, I love her. I follow her on Instagram. I love seeing her and her husband, Dwayne Wade. I think they're so cute together. Um, but anyways, um, she decided to come out with a hair care line, I believe a year and a half ago. Um, and I just wanted to try it because I'm a fan and I love beauty products, so why not? So she was having a sale last summer on her website. All products were 50% off. And I figured why not try it and initially I wasn't gonna try any of the product because I thought they were just a little bit too pricey um, she does uh, make the product to be salon quality um, products so obviously if it's gonna be salon quality it's gonna have salon quality prices right so I was like I'm not gonna buy it but she had a sale and I decided to just stock up on some stuff so I got in total uh, five products uh, from the line uh, it comes in this beautiful color box which is by far like one of my favorite colors by the way so a plus for that um, and I got uh, five products I all wanted to try out the full range of the hair care line just to see how I like it and to give you guys a full idea of what I thought um, so I am just gonna tell you what uh, she says on her website um, just to give you a full brief idea if my phone will unlock. So on our website she stated, I wanted to help women have good hair days. It's as simple as that. Being on set for hair and makeup means I'm always switching it up. Trying new products and experimenting. So you name it, I've probably tried it. When I really thought about the products that I use in my own hair, there was always something that I wish I could have added or changed or tweaked. For so many of us, we just wanted to find the perfect hair care line. And she goes on to say um, how she created the product and the, pro the ingredients and so on and so forth. So if you go on the flawless, uh, flawlesshair.com, you can uh, read more about it. So I I'm just going to tell you what the prices of all the products are. I got five products. I got the Smoothen Shampoo. The smoothing conditioner, the hair repair mask, um, the edge control gel, as well as the heat protectant spray. Uh, five products. And the, both the smoothing shampoo and the um, smoothing sh conditioner were the same price. Uh, they were $19 and $19 and you get 8.54 ounces of product uh, for both the shampoo and the conditioner. The hair care mask, you get the hair repair mask, you get a total of 84 ounces of product uh, with a price point of $29. For the edge control, and I'm sorry, I'm just looking on my phone just to get the prices because I don't remember them out of my head at all. Um, the edge control gel, you get a total of four floor ounces of product for a total price of $19. And for the heat protectant spray, you get a total of 4.2 ounces of product. Uh, let me see what the price is is yeah so for the heat protectant spray you get a total of 4.2 floor ounces of product for $19 um so a little bit pricey uh for products that I want to spend in my hair 
But that's not to say that I do not love my hair because I buy a ton of hair care products. But because my hair is all natural, obviously I'm wearing a wig right now. My hair is all natural um, and I wear wigs just to keep it protective from the winter because it's it gets really dry. Uh, but because I go through a lot of conditioner, a lot of sham a lot of conditioner, I tend not to spend more than like ten or twelve dollars for my shampoos because I go through it so much. Um, so for me, the price was a little bit off putting for this product, and that was one of the main reasons why I didn't want to try it in the first place. But I respect Gabrielle Union, I respect her hustle, and I respect her wanting to create something that was for um, her hair texture people of her hair texture and I guess for everyone um, included to try out and yes so uh, let me first talk about the first step in my hair care uh, routine for the system which was the smooth and shampoo so it said it's made with avocado argan avocado organ oil and marula oil it's sulfate sulfate paraben gluten and cruelty free I don't know why um, it would even say gluten free because maybe maybe it's my own ignorance, but I feel like companies tend to put certain labels on product just to sell a product, and this just seems to be one of them. I don't know. I don't necessarily know if people with celiac disease if they um, just can't use gluten products on their hair. I know they can't eat products with gluten because it's upset their stomach, but I don't know about using products on their hair. So um, I don't necessarily like when companies tend to throw out labels on certain products. A lot of companies do that, not just um, Gabra Union, but it's just very weird when they do that. But anyways, it's sulfate free, paraben free, which is great, and cruelty free, which is amazing, and it's also color safe. This shampoo reminds me a lot of the uh, Shea Moisture, um, hibiscus, uh, and hibiscus and coconut, uh, shampoo. Uh, the texture is honestly, to me, the same. It smells really great, and I absolutely love the fact that it has, like, these little particles of shimmer in it. Not necessarily that it would make any difference in your hair, but I just love the fact that it does have that. So, it reminds me a lot of the Shea Moisture, um, shampoo. But instead of paying nineteen dollars for the for a shampoo, you pay like ten or twelve dollars for the Shea Moisture shampoo. But again, it's um, supposed to be salon quality, so I guess that would justify the price. Um, this shampoo for me didn't really. It wasn't like, oh my god, I need to buy this again. Let me go buy it again and spend nineteen dollars. I would, however, spend. Um, uh the what was it 850 uh two nines or 18 um i would however pay the 950 um or eight whatever it was god my brain is not even working right now i would however pay for it if it was 50 percent off but at 19 dollars, i would not pay for it at all um but again it's not that um amazing of a shampoo but it's not horrible either and I'm just gonna use it until it's finished. I don't necessarily use a lot of shampoo in my hair, so this would probably last me for a good whole year. Because again, I use conditioners more than I use shampoos. Um, and I forgot to mention that your package come with this cute little card. Um, just like any subscription box would. Um, I also got this smooth and sh conditioner, which again I stated was $19. Um, and it said it's supposed to fortify and tame frizz prone damaged hair. It's argan, avocado, and marula. It contains all argan, avocado, and marula oil. And it also has the same label sulfate, paraben, gluten, cruelty free, and it's also color safe. Um, this shampoo I bought because I have a lot of moisturizing product, and when I think of something that's smoothing, um, I think of something that's just gonna just lay the cuticles on your hair to keep it um, a lot less frizzy. So that's when I that's what I think of when I think of smooth and shampoos, and that was the intent when I bought this. So I figured I could use it when I do like a twist out or something, and I wanted my actual hair to just stay uh, smooth and not as frizzy. Again, this conditioner didn't really do much. It wasn't necessarily something that I was like, 
oh my god I need to buy it again it was more something like oh okay it smells great nice all right cool okay um for the price again I would not necessarily buy it um it does smell really good um and it it didn't wow me but it's not horrible at the same time and I feel like if I'm gonna spend $19 for a conditioner I need to be like wow you know and i get a wow factor when i use my garnier uh conditioner didn't necessarily get it when i used this so that's just my opinion on that um the hair mask i pretty much use the most of because i tend to go through hair mask a whole lot and i love how it smells it just smells I don't know what it smells like it smells amazing um, and it it's something that I actually like to use because of the scent of it not necessarily that it did anything that fantastic so this is how far I've gotten with this product and I love how it smells I just love the smell of it and it's a deep uh, repair hair mask and it's supposed to repair and strengthen dry damaged hair and all the products from what I'm seeing contain argan avocado and marula oil and it said it's supposed to you leave it in your hair for five to ten minutes i obviously tend to leave my uh mask or deep conditioners in a lot longer than that um and it's supposed to moisturize your hair and control damage and so on and so forth again no drastic change or difference no like drastic like wow i need to buy this let me buy it again when i use this um the only reason why I would buy this again, and I'm being completely 100% honest, is because I love the scent of it. It smells amazing. However, at the price, I believe it was $29 I stated earlier, I would not buy this for $29 because I don't feel like... I feel like I get... I would buy two Shea Moisture product um, for $29, and I'll get a Wow Factor, or even three Shea Moisture product, and I'll get a Wow Factor... I don't necessarily get a wow factor with this um, but again I don't think you know what the funny thing is I'm gonna say I don't think any of this product any of these products were necessarily created for people of um, a 4c type texture here and that's just what I've been getting from using it I'm not sure what Gabrielle Union's texture hair is because I, I obviously I've never met her. I don't know what it looks like. I mean, I know what her hair s seems to look like, but I don't necessarily like can tell. Um, she doesn't seem like she has that coarse of a hair, and I'm just saying it in comparison to mine. So I feel that's why I didn't get like that effect of a great effect from this mask, and that's the only logic I can come up with it. Um, I also got the hair protectant spray because I like to use hair protectant sprays or serums when I straighten my hair, which I've kind of slowed down a lot of, on doing. Um, and this says it's supposed to shield, defrizz, protect up to 450 degrees, which is pretty much, well, my iron usually stays at like 350. Um, but when I use this, uh, first of all, it made my hair very um, damp in terms of the spray. It's just a regular spray bottle. Uh, it doesn't necessarily disperse the mist um, into like... It doesn't necessarily disperse the product into fine mist. It's more like a damp, like wet feel. So I hate when I am using a hair protecting spray and I feel like I'm just spraying water on my hair which is not necessarily like i feel like i'm i just like run my hair under a top of water and then i'm about to put flat iron in on it uh so that's the feeling i get when i um spray this out so the mist is not necessarily fine and i feel like this is something that they probably need to redesign and the actual heat protectant itself i did not necessarily like solely because it smelled a lot like alcohol I know it said that it's supposed to be like avocado and marula oil and all that stuff, but when I used it, all it smelled like is alcohol. And I hate when I use a hair product and I could automatically smell that alcoholy like 
scent I don't know how to explain it but that's just like what I got from using it so I was not I was not a fan of this at all whether or not it worked I cannot tell you because I used it once and that was that I just didn't like it um, but uh, that's all I'm gonna say about this and my favorite product out of all everything I bought was the edge control gel because this was the one thing I felt like I absolutely loved and I felt like it actually worked uh, so again it's the edge control gel um, it's supposed to control and tame frizz and I use this on my edges with my basic toothbrush um, and I use it sometimes I will mix it with my other product and it doesn't give me like that flaky feel and sometimes I'll use it on its own and I just use it on my edges and I tie my um, head around and it works amazingly this is actually my favorite product and this is probably the only product I would consider repurchasing because I think they did a really good job on it initially I was a little bit hesitant because I'm like an edge control gel um, it's not like a thick texture uh, as all the other edge control this is what like the texture kind of look like I don't know if I could pick it up on the camera and it's probably not gonna pick up on the camera but it's like it's pretty much what it says it's a gel and it, it works great it it's amazing <laughs> I was like I feel like they put all the effort into this product than they did with the other product so overall, I'm just going to say that the Gabriel Union um, hair care line was not necessarily something that I liked. I, I just wasn't a fan of it. Like, I wasn't a fan of most of the product. And she does have a bunch of other products on there. Um, and I will definitely be interested in trying out the oils and um, the moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. Because she does have a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner line. So I'd be interested in trying those out. But I don't necessarily know if I want to buy it for the price that they're selling it for. Um, but like I stated before, I feel like this product was not necessarily catered. It doesn't necessarily cater to women that have really coarse texture hair. And I feel like you won't get that much benefit from it if you purchase it. If you have a coarser texture hair. I feel like if you were like necessarily like maybe like a Latina or like a Caucasian like white female you'd probably enjoy this a lot more um, than say or if you were of a mixed race or if you were on the um, like like two or three hair spectrum um, but if you're anywhere um, on the hair spectrum that my hair is on you are not gonna like this and you're probably gonna be mad um, that you bought it I'm not necessarily mad that I bought it because I am a beauty junkie and I love to try out new products and I love to tell you guys what I think works great and what does not and I love to be a guinea pig basically so uh, for me, the Gabriel hair care line is not not the whole line, but the products that I've purchased so far is a negative, um, in my opinion. And it's only a negative because it didn't necessarily work for me. And like I said, I just feel like it wasn't necessarily catered for somebody that has a coarser texture hair like I do. Um, so I feel like if you have a lighter texture hair, you're going to love it. But that's all I have to say with the Gabrielle Hair Care line. You could go on FlawlessHairCare.com uh, uh, and check it out for yourself. Um, you may like it better than I do. And just because I don't necessarily like something doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't try it out for yourself. But if you have texture, a texture hair like I do, you're not going to like it. I'm just telling you that. But if you want to try it out yourself, be um, by all means do so. Um, if I could find any coupon codes, I'll put it down below. Um, I'm not sure if there's any out right now, but I know she does tend to have like different promos on the site. If you follow her on Instagram, um, that's where she like announces it and you could get like a discount. Or if you want, you could just Google a um, flawless hair care like coupon code and find something for yourself. But that's all I have to state on this. Um, yeah, wasn't necessarily a fan. Um, but that's all I have to state. I hope you guys uh, like this review. And I hope I didn't come off like super, super like harsh. But that's just my opinion. Like whenever I'm spending my money, or even if I'm not spending my money, if I don't like something, I'm just going to be upfront and be like I don't like it um, but I still love Gabrielle Union and I hope she comes out with more products because I am here um, she could take all my coins because I love her <laughs> she could take out all my coins because I love her um, but yeah don't forget to like rate comment and subscribe to my channel I will be having more um, videos up 
Uh, per usual, it's a new year and I'm very excited for all the things that are coming my way. And I hope you guys are also excited for all the good things that are coming your way too. Again, like this video, rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. I only use two main social media platforms right now, and that is Snapchat, which is Cassie to Glam, and um, my Instagram, which is Cassie to Glam. And I'm kind of a big nerd on Snapchat if you um, follow me, so pardon me for posting all the random videos, but that's what I do. I love Snapchat. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I love y'all and I'll see y'all later. Bye.